everyone. I'm Melissa here and welcome to your Melissa moment. Hello everyone. I'm Melissa here. Oh, welcome to your Melissa moment and welcome to Toss It Tuesday. I hope you guys are enjoying this series as much as my home is. Uh, every Tuesday, uh, we go through a room or a drawer or something in our house and we organize it and get rid of things we don't need and uh, it just makes things better. So here we are currently in what I like to call the mud room of my home. Um, you guys are more than welcome to clean along with me if you have this area of home in your house or if there's another room or drawer or whatever that you feel uh, inspired to clean, feel free to do it with me. Um, if you're new here, hi, welcome. I'm Melissa. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, if you guys want to subscribe to my channel, I would appreciate your support. We do lots of different videos on this channel, uh, but today is all about organizing and cleaning. So this room, just to give you some context, uh, you can see it's fairly narrow. This was a built on addition to our home uh, before we purchased it. So our house, the original house is 100 years old, uh, over 100 years old, actually. Um, and they added on this very narrow, small part to the original house. Now, I don't know who added it on, but someone did. Now, it looks good. It looks good. It looks like, yeah, they did it right. They did a good job. It is not done right. Um, for whatever reason, they did not put a solid foundation underneath this. I honestly think they literally built this addition onto dirt. They didn't put any concrete foundation, nothing. So it's sinking <laughs> on some of the corners and the floor is uneven. And in winter time, we get big drafts underneath and ice build up along the baseboards. It was not built correctly, but this is what we're dealing with. So that's fine. Uh, it does look nice. We did get a brand new door, as you can see, uh, and we did a new paint job in here recently. Um, I also have a lot of natural light here. So I know there's a lot of light coming in from the door and a window. I don't have curtains on this window, so I can't make that better for you guys watching. I apologize about that. The angle's also gonna be kind of weird because it's a very narrow space. Um, but we're gonna make through, we're gonna do what we can do here. So we kind of cleaned up the laundry area, which is behind you right now. We kind of cleaned that up uh, last week. Um, and I mentioned to you last week, we're getting a new washer dryer delivery. So uh, once that is in place, we will do some videos about that. But we're working on the rest of it. Uh, primarily these three units here behind me, I've got a small one over there, the big one, and then another one right here. So this is what we're gonna be kind of focused on today. So I know the angle's not gonna be great. We're dealing with things. We also have right here, um, my dumbbells, which I think I'm going to move these into the basement. I think that's where they're going to go. Um, these have been sitting here for over a year. I can count on maybe one finger how many times I've used them. Um, I just do most of my workouts at the gym, but it's good to have things like this because you never know when another pandemic's going to hit and things get closed down again, right? So for now they're here, but they're, it's heavy. There's a lot of weight here, and that shouldn't be in my mudroom based on the fact that it's on dirt. Um, so I think eventually these weights are gonna go down into the basement. I also have on the other side here an organ uh, that belonged to my grandmother, which again, I love it. I'm keeping it, it's sentimental to me, but unfortunately in my home, I don't have anywhere to properly put it. So it's here in the mud room. The problem with that is it's kind of in the way. You can see it's very narrow here to walk through to get to our back door and I don't want it here. So the organ is also gonna go into the basement, but I can't put these things in the basement right now because the basement, 
is going to be our next project after the mud brown. And when you guys see my basement next week, you will understand why these things are going to stay here for now. <laughs> There's no room down there, but we'll get to that next week. So if you're looking into a basement organizing and cleaning, make sure you've subscribed and click that notification bell. But let's get into it, you guys. Uh, let's start, okay? I'm gonna start right here with this cabinet. Now, let me turn around. Okay, let's start here. Um, first of all, let's talk about the top of it. You can see it's got a few things on it that probably shouldn't be here. Um, so we have sunscreen. That was from the pool. So I'm just gonna put it down here on the floor. Um, because it should go with our sunscreen stuff. So we're going to put it over there. We also have this. Now this is instructions and things to our new washer and dryer. What? You got your washer and dryer already, Melissa? Not really. Uh, we have the washer. You're actually sitting on it right now. But the dryer came damaged. Of course it did. So we're actually waiting for the new one. So probably another week yet. So that's fine. So let's just put the instructions over here for now. Uh, we have a piece of purple construction paper, probably from my daughter who likes to do crafting. We'll just set that there for now. Um, I have my coffee because everyone needs a coffee. Um, and then on top, I do have a Scentsy warmer, which is lit up. Let me turn that off because it's probably annoying you. Hang on. Okay, I'll turn that off for now. I have to change the wax anyway. So I have the Scentsy Warmer there. I do also have this little decorative rose, which I just have sitting on top as well. Um, so that, I'm happy with how the top looks. It's fine. In here is where we're gonna start, okay? Now, the reason, hang on a sec. Dirt. Okay. The reason we have these units in the first place is like I said, um, very old house, not a lot of storage, no pantries at the time, none of that. So we bought these from uh, Yisk, and which is kind of like an Ikea, if you're some of my American friends. Um, to hold things that I didn't have space for. So this has just become a mess. So we're gonna go through it, okay? And we're gonna try to organize it. Now I say try to organize it because there's a lot of stuff and I gotta make some hard decisions. So let's just start and see what we're dealing with, okay? Okay, so first off, we have my Tupperware pressure cooker, I use this all the time. This I'm definitely keeping. I'm just going to set it down on the floor for now. I have got my Tupperware Micro Pro grills. Now, I have two. I use these all the time. Definitely keeping. Now, in here, we also have Scentsy Wax, you guys. Because this is the wax I primarily use in this mudroom area. The problem with that is it smells really strong and like um, laundry products, which probably shouldn't be around my cooking products. Now, of course, we also have a lot of sun in here, and I can tell right now some of these bars melted, and I can tell right now some of these bars leaked in here, and I've got oil stains in here now, which is kind of annoying, but that's fine. Um, I'm just going to go and grab some cleaning products because we're going to have to give this a wipe down because it's a bit of a mess, you guys. Um, okay, give me a second. Oh, yeah, it's a bit of a mess. It's fine. So we're just going to give this a little bit of a wipe out here. That really sucks to put oil marks in here. That's fine. Okay. So that's fine. Okay. Um, so obviously these Scentsy bars are going to have to go somewhere else. I'm just going to move them. They don't belong here. 
I'll probably end up putting them under my sink in the kitchen. So we have one shelf here empty. Now, what I'd like to do, and I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this, is I kind of like to have one shelf per item. So one shelf has the pressure cooker, one shelf has the micro pro grills, one shelf has blah. The problem is I have too many things. So let's just continue to clean this out and see what we're dealing with. Um, this is my stack cooker from Tupperware. I also use this all the time, so I have to keep that. Um, and then I have, you guys, I have my little pumpkin dish. I love this dish. This was thrifted from Value Village with my friends. Love it. I have used it. Let's give this a little white. Wow, that is dusty. Um, so I'm keeping that as well. Now, again, I'd like to have that on its own little shelf, but I don't know if we're going to have room. So we also have to decide, like I'm thinking... This unit will be more of the small kitchen appliances. And I'm thinking the big unit, I'll put like the baking stuff in. I think that makes the most sense. I mean, I can even set this pumpkin one up on the top of it. So I think that's what's gonna happen. Okay, let's see what we have on the other side here. Hang on, okay. Okay, we have got, my friend Heather's watching this right now, and she's probably like, you haven't used those yet? No, I haven't. Um, but my friend is awesome, and I have a Pampered Chef Deluxe Air Fryer, and I have been looking for certain accessories to go with it, and she found, brand new in package, at Value Village, the fruit leather trays. And she got these for me, and I was so excited, and I still am. We haven't used them yet, but we will. Um, so these actually go with my air fryer. So I'm not sure where I'm going to put those right now. I also have, you guys, there's going to be so many Try It Thursday videos coming up just from this stuff. Um, I have one of these, you know, the little cutter things. This I bought on Amazon as a deal of the day. It's amazing, I think. At least it looks amazing. I haven't tried it yet either, you guys. But this will be a Try It Thursday, as well as the fruit leather trays. Um, here's all the attachments that go along with it. There's so many. It does everything. So we're going to have to do that on a Try It Thursday. Um, okay, I have got... My little baby waffle maker, I love this thing. It's like the perfect size for us. I honestly haven't used it in a while, but I have used it and I do like it. We just don't, we do pancakes more than waffles here. I don't know. Are you guys pancake people or are you waffle people? Because I think you're usually one or the other. Um, okay, more baking stuff. I've got these really super cute little silicone, um, baking trays. This is from Epicure. Again, haven't used them yet, but I'd like to. So I'm going to put like all the little baking stuff together. This is a collapsible strainer, again, from Epicure. Again, haven't used it yet, but I will. This should actually be in my kitchen because that's where it should be. So we're going to move that to the kitchen. Okay, these are Tupperware microwavable containers. I do use these all the time, so those also need to, I'm running out of room, guys. They need to have their own little place. I have got a little Tupperware divided uh, serving tray. I use this all the time, so this will have to go somewhere, too. This goes with the stack cooker, so let me put that under there. Okay, let me clean out this part. How does it get so dusty in here? Like, the doors are closed. I don't get it. Is there that much dust in my house? I mean, there probably is. But, I don't know. I feel like I keep my house fairly clean. I don't know. Okay. That's cleaned out. Now, on the top here, we have more. This is Tupperware. It's a silicone circle mold. They're jackhammering outside. Our neighbor's getting worked on. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but I can. So this, I don't know, it's got to go somewhere else. 
We also have little donut things. These are all going to be try at Thursdays, you guys, because I don't know. I think this is Epicure. Yes, this is an Epicure one. I don't know if I like, I, I have used this before. I know I have. I don't remember if I liked it or not. I don't think I did. But I want to do another try it Thursday and try all this stuff at least one more time to make a decision. But eventually I think it's going to get sold if I'm being honest with you. This is brand new, you guys, in package. Epicure mini bunt cake molds. Again, I got these because the size is perfect for us because we eat little portions. So I'm going to have to try those on a try it Thursday as well. Okay, I also have one of these silicone mats. I don't know about you, but this has been cleaned. It's been washed, but it's oily. Any of my friends out there watching that uses silicone mats and baking sheets, do yours stay oily? Because like you can, I don't, you won't be able to see it, but there's literally liquid on here and it's been cleaned. I know it has, but like you guys, it's oily. I'm like, I don't understand. So I don't know. We're going it, to, it's oily, you guys. I don't get it. Let me, I'm going to have to do something with that. Like it's oily and I don't like it. Okay. That's fine. Here's another try it Thursday. This is a little, um, silicone pro ring that goes with the micro pro grills. Haven't used it yet. I've got an instruction book in here for, Oh, my vegetable chopper. So we should keep that because it'll tell me all the attachments and what they do. Now, again, this has got oil marks in it from that silicone mat. So I don't know. We might just sell that silicone mat. It seems like it does more. I like the idea of silicone, but it seems like it's just more of a pain than anything. How do you guys, do you guys use the silicone baking stuff? How do you feel about it? Because I don't know, depending on the brand, either to me, when I cook with it, everything smells and tastes like chemical or it doesn't clean well, or it always stays oily. Like I can't figure it out. Let me know what your guys' thoughts are. Okay. Um, I'm going to start putting stuff back in here. So like I said, I want everything to have its own little shelf. So I think what I'm going to put in here right now is I'm going to put the stack cooker here. I'm going to put the micro pro grills here. I almost wish I had an extra shelf for these and they only came with one shelf each, but I almost wish I had an extra shelf because I could probably put another layer in, but that's fine. Um, the silicone ring for the micro pro grills, I'm going to leave in here with the micro pro grills because that seems like it makes sense. I'm going to put my pressure cooker on the bottom. Okay. Now we have one more slot here. What are we going to put here? I don't really want to put the silicone stuff in here. I don't want to put the pumpkin in here. Maybe I'll put the cutter in here. Well, I also have the waffle maker. Mm, okay. Let's put the little vegetable chopper. We're going to put that down here. It'll have its own little spot. That looks cute. I like that. So then everything else we're just going to leave aside for now. So that definitely looks more clean, more manageable, easy to find things. I like it. We're going to move over to the next spot now. Um, now this unit, there's not going to be a lot I'm going to be able to do in here. This is where I keep my pots and pans and they take up a lot of room, but we have a drawer down here, which I guarantee you is full of things I haven't seen in years. So let's open up the drawer and kind of see what we're dealing with. Um, hi, you guys, sometimes deciding where to put things is difficult. So this is kind of my catch all. Now I can tell you right now, there's two things that I grab out of this drawer all the time. I couldn't tell you what else is in this drawer. Couldn't tell you, but we're going to go through it right now. The things I grab out of this drawer all the time are right here. Aprons. 
I have one child's apron in here and my apron in here. That's what I grab all the time. So we're just going to set those aside for now. Now I also have in here a Tupperware little caddy. Okay. This is for like casseroles and stuff. So, you know, when you go to a potluck and you take something and you need to put it in something, this is what this is. Now, I'll be the first to tell you I've never used it, okay? I don't get invited to a lot of potlucks, um, but you know, the second I get rid of this, I'm going to get invited to a potluck. So I think I am going to keep it, but I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it up here. I might put it in the basement. Now, inside of this, we've got more aprons. These are two Christmas aprons. So those should stay up here. But the inside is all insulated, and this does fit my Ultra Pro lasagna pan. So I am going to... Now, the downside about that also, I love my Tupperware Ultra Pro, but it's... Taking it to a potluck is dangerous because you never want to use metal utensils on Tupperware, especially the Ultra Pro because they're very expensive. Um, and when you go to a potluck and you have a lot of other people dishing out their own food, there's a high chance someone's going to use metal and wreck your Ultra Pro. So you got to ask yourself, do you really want to take the Ultra Pro to a potluck? Probably not. Now with that said, this would also fit like a glass casserole dish. I just don't own any anymore. Um, but I think I'm going to put this in the basement because again, I don't use it that often, but at least if it's down there, I'll be able to find it. Of course, once we clean it up. So I'm going to take that out. Now, speaking of Tupperware, I have tons of Tupperware microfiber cloths and rags and things like that. Not rags, but cloths and cleaning things. I don't use them. Uh, I have in the past. I don't like them. I've realized I do not like microfiber. The reason I don't like microfiber, well, it's a few. I don't like how it feels on my skin. My skin is always dry. And if you've ever grabbed a microfiber cloth or towel when you have dry skin, the sensation is just horrible. I don't like it. Number two, you are not supposed to use fabric softener or um, like dryer sheets and things like that when you wash microfiber cloths. I don't think about that. I'm one of those people that I don't even separate my colors when I do laundry. I just throw it all in. I know those of you that separate are in shock. I get it. I just don't. I do laundry all the time. I don't have time to do all that. I don't have time to think about, oh, this item needs no fabric softener and this item, no, I don't have time for it. So we're gonna take all these out and sell them, okay? So these are gonna be gone. I have more, I have more. This one is not in the package anymore, but it's new. Um, okay, there might be more in here. We'll find it when we get to it. I have another apron. This is another Christmassy apron. Um, this one's cute because uh, it's got on the bottom of it, on the inside, hang on, ugh, measurements. So your equivalents. So one gallon is equivalent to four quarts, eight pints, 16 cups, 128 ounces, 3.8 liters. And it has that for everything. It's got one gallon, one quart, one pint, one cup, one fourth cup, one tablespoon. It shows you all the different measurements and equivalents. This is a Tupperware apron. It's super cute. Um, I have a problem with aprons. I love them. Um, so I have a few. So we might have to make some tough decisions. Okay, I also have these uh, silicone oven mitts. I, at one point, had so many oven mitts. These are brand new. I like them. They're good. I like that they're, they, they're long, like they go up pretty far on your arm. The problem, again, is I have my Ov gloves. I don't know if you remember Ov gloves. You might even own an Ov glove. It was a big thing, like, years ago. I use them all the time all the time. Uh, I need to wash them. They're kind of gross, but I use them all the time. So I might sell these. So these are going to come out because you guys, I haven't used them. Okay. We're getting into silicone territory. Remember what I said about silicone? This is why these are all going to be 
Try It Thursdays. We have so much Try It Thursdays to do, you guys. So much. So we have got Tupperware little sheet pan things. I've got three here. Why do I have so much, you ask? Great question. Thanks for asking. Um, I used to sell Tupperware. So a lot of this I earned uh, for free or I got a huge discount on. Um, so I have a lot of it. Let me just narrow you down a little. There we go. So I have a lot of it. Um, but again, try it Thursdays. Here we go. Uh, let me set those up there. These, again, Tupperware. They're little molds like for chocolates and things. I really like the idea of this. Again, we got to try it on a Thursday. So there's that. These are not Tupperware. These are just dollar store, but they're super cute little snowflake molds. Um, I had bought these with the intention of using them for ice cubes in the winter. Have not done it yet. Try it Thursday. Okay. This is my Ninja. This came with my Ninja. I got a huge Ninja blender food processor package bundle that my husband bought me years ago. Um, I think he got it. I, I want to see the shopping channel. I don't know where. Um, I have never seen like the whole combo he bought me. I've never seen it available anywhere. And it was a whole thing. Like you can buy right now a Ninja blender with food processor, but not the one I have. The one I have is like a complete huge deluxo package. My food processor has like 12 different blades. Plus we got the blender. Plus we got the individual blender cups. Plus we got <clears throat> another mixer. Plus it came with a whole bunch of silicone stuff. Like I've never seen this package available ever. Um, so I left out on that. Um, but anyway, this came with it. Uh, this is just a silicone mold. I don't know. You could use it for anything. I suppose ice, baby food, anything you want little bits of. Um, so again, I've never used this, but try it Thursday. Here we come. Okay. Um, we've got more silicone mats. Now, you guys, this has been washed, I promise you. But look, it left, you can see where the cookies were on here. Like silicone, I just don't know how I feel about you. Because to me, this looks dirty, but I have washed this, I have scrubbed this. I, it can't, I don't know. So I'm thinking I'm not gonna use them again and I'll probably end up selling them, but we might do a try it Thursday just to try it again. Okay. Um, this is Epicure. This again, very large, deep molds. Try it Thursday. Um, okay. There's so much in here, you guys. Okay. These also Tupperware. Um, these, I've never seen these available in the catalog or for customers. I purchased these at the actual Tupperware home office in Florida. They are microwavable cupcake or little cake molds. So you can make a microwave cake in these in the microwave. Um, do not ask me how to use them or how long. I couldn't tell you. But there's four here. Um, so I'd like to try it Thursday with these. Let's just put those up there for now. Okay, these are Epicure. I do, again, have full intention of using these, but I haven't used them yet. I have two of them. I wanted to get these to make little, like, snack bars is what my intention was. Try it Thursday. Um, haven't used them yet, but I'd like to. This, you can tell, is brand new. I haven't even used it yet. This is the Authentic Cookina Cuisine little um, mat. I think there's two in here haven't used them yet. See what I mean? There's going to be so many try it Thursdays, you guys, where obviously we're going to be cooking. So if you guys like cooking and new recipes, make sure you've subscribed because there will be a lot of cooking stuff coming up. Okay, let's keep going because we have more silicone. Can you believe it? Again, Tupperware, brand new. These are, I don't know if you can see through the bag, they're little 
sticks. Okay. Um, you can make whatever you want. I've seen people do little bread sticks out of these. I've seen people do little chocolate things out of these. Again, try it Thursday. There's so much to try. Uh, here's one out of the package. So I have two of these. Again, though, it's the silicone itself. I'm not sure how I feel about it. Oh, here's the little, uh, for the Epicure little bars. See, here's a recipe card. Perfect portion bliss bar. There you go. There's our recipe right there. Um, what's all in it? Dried fruit, nut butter, coconut, seeds, spices, dip mix, which obviously is an Epicure thing, which I don't have. But there's other things, so there we go. Okay, these are the Tupperware waffle molds. I have used these. These ones are brand new, I think. I had others. There's two here. They're brand new. I've never used them. I can tell you right now, these are being sold. I don't like them. Um, they're to do in the oven. I think you can do them in the microwave as well. But I did them in the oven. What I don't like about these is they don't brown and crisp as much as I like my waffles to be brown and crisp. They're fairly white, which is fine, just not for me. So we're going to sell these. Yay. Um, here's another thing I'm going to sell. This is Epicure or Pamper Chef. Pamper Chef. Epicure. I don't know what you are. I can't remember. And there's no mark on here. I think this is Pamper Chef. It is like a little, you can see the shapes, um, for whatever. Pancakes, eggs, whatever you want. I used it once for my daughter. I found it more of a pain than anything. I don't like it, so we're selling it. <sighs> little egg molds. This is Tupperware, I believe. Yep. Again, I've never used them, but I'd like to. Um, I have full intention of making for Easter, obviously, little chocolate eggs. So that'll be a try it Thursday at some point. Silicone bunt pan. Uh, this also is Tupperware, I believe. Pretty sure. Or is it Epicure? Um, Tupperware. Haven't used it. I want to. We'll try it on a Thursday. We'll see how we feel about it. I do have somewhere a really good bunt cake recipe um, that I'd like to try again. So we'll have to find it. Look, here's another apron. Tupperware apron. Um, I'm not sure if I'm keeping it or getting rid of it. Look, here's another Tupperware apron. This one's fun because it's got like little jewels on it and it's purple. Uh, again, do I need it? No, I'm going to sell it. Let's just make some choices. Do I need this one? No, I'm going to sell it. Let's make choices, you guys. Um, do I need this one from Tupperware? No, I'm going to sell it. Here we go. Look at us getting rid of things. Yay, we're doing a great job, and you guys are too. Um, I am going to keep my Christmas aprons, one for me and one for my daughter, because they match and it's cute. And then I have got my um, Las Polos Hermanos apron uh, from Break Breaking Bad, which I love. And my daughter has a little kid one as well. That's kind of for everyday apron. So I'm keeping that. And then I also have brand new, if you guys saw my video from Universal Studios, uh, I have um, Krusty Burger apron, which I just bought. So that will be the other one I keep. Okay, moving on. More silicone, you guys. For someone who isn't sure if they like silicone, I have a lot of it. Um, I've got this cute little heart mold silicone. This is Tupperware. I believe this was like a limited edition kind of thing. Um, I don't even know if this was available to the public or just consultants. But again, I can't remember if I use this. So try it Thursday. Here we come. Um, also Tupperware, a cute little snowman. Obviously Christmas, winter time. Here we go. Um, then we have this huge silicone one from Tupperware, never used. Uh, this one, we also are going to have to try it Thursday on a cake. Um, see, it has a chemical smell to it. And I had some muffin pans from Tupperware, and it smelled like this. And when I cooked muffins in it, the muffins tasted chemically to me, and I couldn't eat them. 
I had other people try the muffins and they never said, like I'd say, do you taste anything weird? And they were like, no, it doesn't taste weird at all. So I don't know if I just am super sensitive to that or what, or if it's in my head, I don't know. But we'll have to see, we might try this and see. We might try this. Okay, so try it Thursday. Okay. Um, here we go. More muffin, or sorry, donut things. Tupperware again. Donuts. Do I even want to try these? I had a donut recipe that I really liked. And I can't remember if I used a mold like this or not. I don't think I did. I must have. I don't know. I just don't think I'm going to like these. I don't think I am. Do we try it on a Thursday? Let's just try it on a Thursday. Let's just try it one more time to decide. Um, oh, we have one more thing. Uh, brand new package. Can you tell? This is an Epicure omelet maker. Now, I have got, like omelet makers and stuff from Tupperware that we use all the time. Um, I've never, that I recall, used the Epicure one. I think I got this, I can't remember where I got this, um, but it might be worth trying the Epicure maker just to see how we feel about it. My husband and daughter eats eggs a lot, way more than I do. I have a bit of an issue with eggs. Um, so maybe this would be good for my husband and daughter. So we might try that. Or maybe I'll get Matthew to try it on a try it Thursday. Ooh, would you guys like that? Let me know. Um, okay, so the drawer is now empty. I'm gonna give it a wipe down. And then we gotta decide what we're putting in here. I think currently we're gonna put all the silicone back in this drawer with the intention of trying them on Thursdays. And then as we try them, deciding if we keep them or not. I think that's what's gonna happen. Um, Okay, so we're going to put things back in here. You guys are going to have to bear with me for a minute, okay? Because I got to I gotta somehow organize how this stuff is going to go back in here. Because I want to try to, you know, try to make it kind of fit. I don't know how. That's fine. Okay. So we're going to start by these flat ones. Okay. And then probably these guys. There's dust on there. Maybe move it this way. No. Okay. Oh, don't forget, we've got silicone over here, too. I think this one, you guys, now I can show you close up. Look at this. Do you see the wetness on there? Like, that's oil. I don't get it. So I think I'm just going to get rid of that one because it's gross. It's gross. Okay. Okay. Um, round... Got these guys, these guys. Got so many things here. These guys, that just goes there. These guys. Oh, you guys are gonna go away. Okay, oh, I forgot about all this stuff. Like, how can I forget about you guys? Fine. Um, put you over here. Okay, we're getting there, you guys. We're getting there. Okay, have recipe card. Just leave you in there for now. What else do we have? I think these guys. Okay, we're almost there. Let's see if we can put you over here. And there. All the 
silicone stuff. Ugh. Okay. And then we have the aprons, which we're just going to put back in there. Um, I don't know where my orange crusty apron went. I thought I had it there, but now I don't see it. Weird. Okay, well, we'll find it eventually. So I know it doesn't look empty, but we did take some things out, and we do have a plan to try it Thursday on 90% of the stuff. So for now, I mean, it's a little more organized. I'm happy with it. Okay. Here's my crusty apron. I'll put it in there. Perfect. Okay. You guys, there's a lot in here. Um, there's so much in here, you guys. Okay, so on the bottom, I've got all my pots and pans. I want you guys to be able to see this, but it's hard. Let me just try to bring you over. And it's so narrow in here. Let me unplug you. Hang on that it's going to be hard for you guys to see. Okay, but let's just start down here. So you can see I've got my Tupperware pans. Okay, it doesn't look that messy because it's just kind of one per shelf. But then you start getting messier and messier. Sorry, there's a reflection of the backyard on there too. So there's a lot in here. So you guys are just going to have to trust me when I show you what I'm doing, because there's a lot. So I know this isn't ideal, but based on the space, I can't do much about it, guys. I'm sorry. Um, so I'm just going to organize this a little bit more. I mean, I've got my pots down here. Those are good. This needs to get a lid. Put a lid for that one in. OK. Uh, in here, we've got some cookie cutters. These should go in the basement, because in the basement I have tons of cookie cutter stuff, so I'm just going to take that out. Okay, sorry, that was loud. Um, okay. There's so much stuff in here, you guys. Um, okay. I have got silicone pie shield. We're going to put that in the bottom. This came out. Oh, I have to fix that. Okay. Um, so the silicone tie shield can go on the bottom. Um, again, I've got lots of Try It Thursday stuff in here. So I bought this little tart mold. This is for a Try It Thursday. I also have in here some pie weights to go with this for a Try It Thursday. So that's all going to be a Try It Thursday. There's not a lot I can do up here, you guys, honestly. I've got all my Ultra Pro up here. I mean, there's not much else I can do. This is fairly organized the way it is, if I'm being honest with you. Um, so, yeah. I do have to fix. This came undone here. Hang on. This magnetic this needs to be reattached. So I need a screwdriver for that. What kind of screwdriver? I was going to grab my screwdriver from my toolkit, which is supposed to be in the pantry, but it's not there because my husband needed it for something outside and he didn't put it back where it goes. Let me know if you guys deal with that on a daily basis, where your partner doesn't put things back where they go. I'm actually surprised more people that isn't their cause of death than than there is because it drives me nuts. So we'll leave this for another time. It just needs to be re-screwed in. That's fine. I'll do it later. Okay. Speaking of husbands or partners, his shoes. They don't belong here. That's fine. I'll put those away for him. Okay. 
I'm going to move you closer because we're going to move on to the last unit. Hang on, his shoes are in the way. Oh my goodness. Am I the only one that complains about their partner this much? I don't know. I don't know, guys. Okay, again, you can't see what I'm doing because it's a narrow room, but let me bring you over and show you. So this is what we're dealing with. We have a catch-all on top. We have a printer. And then we have another little four unit thing, which is full. Of course it is. Of course it is. So let's start with the top. There's not much I can do here. This is all like uh, paper products and office products. My daughter has construction paper. That's all fairly clean. This is my daughter's bike helmet, which probably can go outside in the shed. Um, here's my daughter's knee pads and elbow pads. Again, probably can go outside in the shed. So I'm just going to put all these in here together so everything's together. Perfect. I'm going to hang that here because I can go outside. Great. Now here's a few things that was in that drawer. Um, now you'll notice these are all brand new. <laughs> I know. Um, I've got, this is all from Christmas. Uh, I've got these cute little half oven mitts. These ones are specifically Halloween or fall. Um, these ones I got specifically for my like toaster oven type thing. So these should go in my kitchen or because they're seasonal, they should actually go in the basement with my seasonal stuff. Um, so we're going to take these out of here for now. I also have these Mickey and Minnie pot holders. These should go in my kitchen. So we're going to take those out. Then I've got little Mickey and Minnie uh, half ones for the toaster oven that aren't seasonal. Those should go in the kitchen. Uh, then I have got Mickey and Minnie oven mitts. Look, new ones. So these ones should also go in the kitchen. So these can all come out. So that's nice. Let me just toss that behind you for a sec. Perfect. Uh, look, my husband's slippers. Why are they here? I don't know. Uh, I assume he wears these when he goes out to the hot tub in winter. I don't think he does it in the summer. So I'm going to put these in our bedroom because I don't think they need to be in here right now. Out they go. Um, okay, stamps go over here. This is for the pool. So this should go with the pool stuff, not here. So let me put that behind you as well. Okay, we're getting there. Um, I bought lots of thank you cards because I use these for my husband's business. And I ran out of places to put them because I bought too many. Um, so they should go in here somewhere, but there's no room. So let me think about this for a second. Let me think about this because they're too big to fit in here properly. So let's see what can be done. So that goes there. This is a bunch of stuff. Okay. That goes there. This is just a bunch of keys and stuff which probably don't belong here if I'm being honest. But again, what do I know? Um, I don't like that these don't fit. I might take these out of the boxes. Again, I don't like doing that either, but if it'll fit that way, I might have to. Okay, I can deal with that later. Let's move on. Okay, paper in the printer. Perfect, good. Business cards. Good. Stickers. Good. Okay. All the office stuff is good. You can actually see the printer now and get to it. So that's important. Let's move down. Okay. In here, we've got stacked paper and construction paper uh, for my daughter. So that can stay there. Move you down so you can see what I'm doing. So now we're into this unit. Uh, this is primarily Tupperware. Here we go. So we have got Tupperware uh, omelet makers. We do use these all the time. Well, my husband does. I've got a Tupperware. Um, I use this for spaghetti and noodles in the microwave. I use it all the time. I have got another one of those, which we had over there. This is the smaller one for microwaves. I use it all the time. This is a little rice cooker for the microwave. I use it all the time. We have got 
my apple pie container. Again, like I said, I want it in this unit or on the top. So we're going to take that out because that's going to go somewhere else. Okay, now this is empty. So let's give this a little clean. So that's nice. Empty. Okay. Down here, I've got a Tupperware container. This shouldn't be here. That goes out. I have got my salad spinner, which I absolutely love. My salad spinner. It's dirty on the top. Why are you so dirty? Okay. I use my salad spinner all the time. Oops. It even has a little top. So if you take like for a potluck or something, a salad, it's got the little spoon here and stuff, which is cute. Uh, now I do have another set of these. I have one in this color and one in this color. I'm going to sneeze. Hang on. <laughs> so much dust, you guys. Okay. I don't need both of these out. I like this color more than this color, so I'm going to keep this one in, and I'm going to take this one out. Okay. So my salad spinner, I'm going to clean this one, and it's going to stay down here because I love it. And I use it all the time. I eat a ton of salad. I'm the only one in this house that does, but that's fine. So my salad spinner goes here. Perfect. So that one's taken care of. I think I'm also going to put this in here with the rice cooker. And I'm thinking the omelet maker as well. And this too. So that's there. It looks way more organized. You guys, we're almost done. Okay, this one's a little bit more messy. Okay, there's a lot in here. So we've got a little chopper from Tupperware. I'll be honest, I used to use these all the time and I honestly haven't used them much. But I do like these for when I'm like cutting up nuts. They work really well. So I've got one in purple. I have one brand new in box in a red. Now, at one point, my kitchen was going to be all red, so I wanted one in red as well, so I have one in red, um, but it's brand new, so I think I'm going to keep the purple one because I've been using it, and this one I can put in the basement. Um, I also have, if you can do that, okay, this. Again, I used to use this all the time. I haven't used it in a long time, but this little guy makes the best whipped cream ever. It makes it super quick and easy. I love it. So I'm going to keep that. Here I have a large chopper. Hang on. This one is in pieces. So let me put the blade guard back on. Um, again, I do use this one quite a bit. So we are going to put this back together because I assume we washed it in the dishwasher and then my husband didn't know how it went back together. So he just threw everything in here, which I probably shouldn't complain that he actually put some things kind of away, even though it's not away the way it should be. So I should be happy about that, I guess. Here's the lid for it. So if you make extra dip or whatever, you can just leave it in there. It also comes with this little whisk attachment. So that's part of that. Um, this is supposed to be like for pickles or things. So this should actually be in my fridge with pickles in it. Um, so I'm going to take that out because that goes in the fridge. This is a newer item from Tupperware. Um, this has a lot going on for it. It's a, like a, a mixer, like the green one for whipped cream. It also has measurements on the side. So it's like a measuring bowl container. Uh, it also has a little spout you can put in if you want to add in a uh, liquid. So let's say you're making your own salad dressing and you want to add in oils and things. You can do that here. It also has a lock on it. Um, this actually is a really good unit. The problem for me is I've never, I, I should say that, I, I don't recall ever using this. Um, 
and I don't know if I will. I mean, this one does more than the green one, but I just like the green one. Sometimes I like simple. So I'm actually going to take this and take it out for now. Now, again, I'm a planner. I have plans. So in my head, I'm like, you know what? All of this stuff is really good for my daughter. You know, like when she moves out on her own, you guys, she's seven. It's going to be a long time before she moves out on her own, but probably be here before you know it actually. So part of me is like, I just want to put stuff aside in a box for her. So, you know, like Violet College, right? And when she goes to college, like here's Tupperware to take for you to do things with. So I'm just going to take it out and put it in the basement for now and we'll get to it later. Um, okay. This goes with this. Uh, I have a little blue one because I do have a little blue one of this somewhere. I think I put it in the basement. So this is the lid for that. So that can come out. This, I have two. I'm trying to figure out why. I've got two lids for this one, which I only need one. So we'll take one out. So that's fine. Um, this is a little blade cover, which we don't need. So this is empty. So let's give this a wipe down. Okay, good. And we're going to put this stuff back. So I'm going to put my whipped cream one back because we're going to need that. I'm going to put my big chopper at the back here with the whisk attachment. Okay. And I'm going to put my little chopper in the front. So now we have those all in one. That's great. That's way more clean and organized. I know you can't see it. I'm sorry. You have to trust me. I'll show you after. Um, now the bottom one, the bottom one is filled with things I've never used, but I want and I like them and I have intention of using them. I know that sounds like something a hoarder would say, and it's possible, but these are Tupperware's clearly elegant dishes. What I like about them is they're plastic, but they look like glass. Um, now these are specifically for cold things, not for hot things. Again, I like them because of the size. I like the size. So we've got four little guys with dark purple lids, which I love. We have got more. We've got a whole little set in here. There's three different sizes in here, clear with the black lids, which I think are really classic and elegant. So of course it's a set, so I have to keep them. Then we've got bigger ones. Again, it's a set all with the black lids. There's one, two, three, four, five, six bowls in here. Then I've got this super cute little like like seven layer dip kind of bowl, which again, I love. So I'm keeping them again. Have I used them? No, but here's the thing. A lot of the reason I haven't used this stuff is because I couldn't get to it or I couldn't see it. Now that we're cleaning and organizing, hopefully I'll be able to get to these things a lot more easier and actually be able to use them. That is the full plan. Okay. Um, is it a great plan? Probably not, but that's kind of my story and I'm kind of going to try to stick to it. You know what I mean? So that's what we're going to do. So there, everything's in. Perfect. Everything's in, everything's organized, everything's clean. We did take out quite a few things. Again, most of it being relocated to other areas. Um, but I'm pretty happy with how all of this is actually. Uh, I'm going to bring you over just to show you. Let me open these up again just to show you what they look like now that it's clean. And then this stuff behind me is stuff to be hung up and dealt with. So that'll be gone. Like I said, the organ eventually will go in the basement. The weights eventually will go in the basement. So that will all be cleaned and out of here. Um, we're getting there, you guys. It's a process. It does not have to be all done in one, one day or one hour. Like I said, we're not looking for perfect. We're looking for better. 
anything's an improvement. Literally taking this and getting rid of it or putting it somewhere else is an improvement. So don't feel bad if your house is messy or unorganized. If you feel overwhelmed, it's okay. Take a deep breath. Just do one thing. Start with one thing. If you don't know where to start, just pick up one thing. Doesn't matter what it is. Just, just whatever, pick up one thing. Thank you cards. Where do thank you cards go? Where would I like these to be in my home? Do I need these thank you cards? Is this something that I can donate or sell or give to someone? Think about it. Um, all of us have way more things than we need. All of us has homes that for the most part are messy. We live here, right? Anytime you live in a space or you're occupying a space, things are going to get messy. Things are going to get unorganized. Things are going to get away on you. We're all in the same boat. This is a judgment-free zone. Don't worry about it. It's okay. We're all here with you. We're in the same boat. Trust me. Uh, some of us more than others because, hey, I'm a shopaholic. So let me show you what we're dealing with. So you can actually see the printer now. Okay, let me open up this here now. So things look better. Way more organized. You can see things. You can get to things. There's all the paper I told you about. Uh, it's better, you guys. Like I said, we're not looking for perfect. We're looking for better. So I think we accomplished that today. I'm feeling good about it. I hope you guys are too. Uh, let me know how your cleaning organizing is going. If you need any tips, if you have any tips, drop me a comment, you guys. I read them. I respond to all comments. Uh, I appreciate every single one of you. Thank you guys so much for watching this Toss It Tuesday. And like I said, next week, you guys, Tuesday, we're headed down into what I like to call my Blair Witch Basement. If you are interested, if you're curious... Make sure you've subscribed and you've clicked that notification bell. We'll see you guys then.